Hi, it's Dulcie Hill here. Um, I want to talk today about uh, to steroid or not to steroid. Um, this is the final uh, video I'm doing on the steroid treatment I had. First of all, I need to make very clear that uh, there is a wonderful use of steroids. Um, if you have relaxing remitting, if you know you are having an attack and not um, a pseudo attack, meaning you don't have another fever, you're not hot, you don't have an infection, uh, and your body is uh, warm and you feel all the old symptoms, if you know you are having a new symptom you haven't had before, um, then I would take steroids at that to stop the progression of that attack. Uh, I have been discussing this with a lot of people. If this is a new symptom, just like, say, if you had optic neuritis, they will give you steroids to stop the progression of that blindness. So you can't see, and instead of going completely white blind, you're just to reverse the stop the progression of that attack, then always, I would always take steroids. However, if you only have inflammation in your body uh, and you're using it to feel better, like I was, uh, the side effects of steroids are far worse than what you're using it for in the long term. Um, if, if you have chronic progressive MS, if you have relapsing progressive MS, if you are very much like me and have had MS for so long, you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired, um, and you use the steroids to feel better, uh, that's the wrong, I used it for the wrong reason. Um, so it, the long-term effects, there's more negatives to it than there, there were positives. The positives, I felt wonderful while I was on the steroids. I walked better, but they, they're temporary. And uh, since I'm thin and uh, i am had steroids for what, 30 years now or 25, something like that, since 1991 is the first bout of steroids I had, my bones are compromised. Uh, so what I, even though it was only five days, uh, when you do steroids as frequently as I have in the past, you are writing checks that your body may not be able to fulfill in the future, meaning you're compromising, you could be compromising your bone density. Um, now, when you are in your 20s like I was, um, you, you think a little bit like uh, a reckless kid and you don't think about the density of your bones. But as you age and you start falling around and say you've got uh, MS which is very individualized, it, you could run into trouble if you fall. I fall often. So, uh, um, but my disease may be worse than yours ever will get. Um, if I'm going to fall all the time, then I better have dense bones. Um, if you're going to fall, um, think about your bones. So be careful. Be a little bit more careful than I tend to be. <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking about you, and, and thank you for tuning in. And uh, um, if I were to do it over again, I don't think I would have done the steroids this time. Um, and uh, next time I do a video and I think I'm thinking about it, please email me and let me know. Uh, my disease is at the pro, um, at the stage where steroids is ineffective for me. And now I'm going to go get my uh, Hopkins Johns Hopkins uh, doctor's opinion next week, and I will let you know. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for watching, and keep coming back.